Tonight, COVID is making a comeback with the number of cases surging more than 50% in the last two weeks. It feels like Groundhog Day for, for so many of us during this pandemic. All but one state seeing an increase in infections, even as numbers are likely underreported due to at-home testing. New York, again the epicenter of what is looking like a fifth wave. Governor Hochul testing positive just today. Do you ever get the sense that it feels, every time it feels like the pandemic might be fading, we start to see these cases we come are, up again? I'm on a tightrope. You know, it's minute to minute at this point. You know, I, you know, as a restaurateur, you don't know what to think. Omicron emerged just six months ago, sending cases and hospitalizations soaring to unprecedented heights over the winter. Since then, new sub-variants have continued to pop up and are driving the latest uptick in infections. One of them now makes up more than one-third of current cases. Research suggests the new versions are getting better at evading protection from vaccines and previous infection. That means if you contracted Omicron, you could get sick again. So it's just a way of the virus getting smarter, and that happens every time it reproduces. So this means it translates to more people getting infected as a result. But in a glimmer of hope, health experts say the severity of cases does not appear to be worsening. So far, hospitalizations and deaths aren't rising as quickly, which the White House credits to high booster rates, treatments and testing. Though it's what lies ahead that is of greater concern, with estimates of 100 million infections by fall or winter. If we don't get ahead of this thing, we're going to have a lot of waning immunity. This virus continues to evolve and we may see a pretty sizable wave of infections, hospitalizations and deaths this fall and winter. Emily joins me now on set. So are we getting any closer to vaccines that could target these new variants? Kate, so Moderna and Pfizer are actively working on new shots to better target these super contagious strains. But what's not clear is how many people would even take advantage of another booster. Kate?